Hey, Decked Out DIYers. Woohoo! Here we go. Gnome of the month. We are going to stick with our Valentine theme this month. And in your kit, you will get your two hats. You will get um, a variety of sizes of hearts. You'll get your love letters mailbox. That's going to be the middle insert between your two gnomes. One gnome will hold the love letter and one gnome will hold the box of chocolates. Um, I am going to keep with my paper um, sort of thing that I've been doing. You might have seen it on um, in our group, Deck It Out DIYers, and on our um, Make It Mondays. I've been using a lot of paper lately. I'm going to use this paper for their hats um, just to kind of give a different color, bring a different color in without having to use paint. Um, and for his hat... I have the, all of this color, so I might end up doing his hat maybe in this um, teal, but it I love this paper because it's kind of um, tie-dyed, and it just gives different dimensions. So stay tuned. I'll show you how to do that in just a second, but make sure you have all your parts, and then we'll get to painting. Okay, when I'm working with Mod Podge, um, this is the Mod Podge I use. I have a really big bottle of it, but... Um, I know that it is available in smaller quantities. So when I do this, I have a cutting board that's just for my crafting. I use my foam brush and I generously apply Mod Podge. Okay, because this is what's going to hold your paper down. And I generously apply it. And then I like to smooth it out because if I have bumps and things in it, It'll dry that way, and then I won't be enthused about it. Then looking at my paper, I try to decide where's the best spot, like where do I get the color that I like the best. And I'm going to go in this corner because I'll get all this different color, which I think will be fun. So knowing that it's in that corner, <clears throat> I'm going to take and I'm going to put my hat. Whoops. Hold on. I'm going to put my hat down as close to the edges as I can. And I'm not really worried about getting Mod Podge all over this paper because I know that I'm going to cut it apart. So right now, I'm just gonna kinda go around it, okay, with my X-Acto knife, just to get the big chunk out of the way. Um, and then I just go back with my X-Acto knife and I go right around it as close to the edge that I can Knowing that, I will, once this is done, I do have a little hand, um, hand size sander that I will sand the edges um, just so that I can get as close to the edges as possible with my paper so that it does look like the hat it's supposed to look like. Um, and then I just kind of peel this off. So continue doing this. And then when I'm done with this part, um, then I take and I Mod Podge on the other side. Okay, I Mod Podge to lay the paper on the paper side. See how it's kind of pulling because I have a lot of Mod Podge on there. And then let that dry and then I'll sand. Okay, so well, I'm kind of stuck here. Hold on. There we go. I was stuck in one of those spots. And really, you're just trying to get all the little chunks out from the spaces that you ran the X-Acto knife. And some it's going to be easier than others. Some it won't be. Um, and you'll probably run into the wood just like I've been doing a few times. But this is what it'll look like. Now I'm going to Mod Podge over the top again. Let it dry. I'll come back and sand it. Okay. Round out these corners. And then we'll be ready to go. So I'm going to repeat this process with the other hat. When the Mod Podge is dry, I'm just going to take my little hand sander. And I just go along the edges like this to clean them up. 
clean up the paper. It pulls the paper off. It's a really nice way to get the paper smooth along the edge. So I'm going to continue that around both hats. Um, and then I'll be ready to go. And if I want to add any details, like with my paint marker, I can certainly do that once my paper um, is dry and I'm ready to go. All right, once you've completed the hats, um, or you're maybe working a little bit here, a little bit there, take your other pieces and then you're just gonna take your paint and do as we normally do. Um, but if you're new to the group, we like to dab our paint instead of um, like paint it with a paintbrush. And you do not need a lot of paint. For the small project pieces, like these little hearts, I like to stick them to tape um, so that I can hold the tape down <clears throat> and not the little pieces um, because then I don't have to get paint all over my hands. I still do, but it's a little bit less. Um, it also helps with those pieces that are kind of delicate. Like these would be delicate pieces, the, um, the thinner pieces that for like instance, the ribbon on the balloons, okay? So you're gonna just take them and then when you paint them, think about your gnome. Um, I painted my gnome with, per, uh, sorry, white beard. So um, I'm having him hold the love letter. So I'm gonna paint the envelope purple because I want it to stand out against his beard. Okay, so just kind of think about what, you're, what colors you're painting them. So you put some paint on, dab some paint off, and then I dab it. That way... I don't have a ton of paint on my pieces. Um, and then these etched lines, you can still see them. You can always come back with your paint markers and jazz up those lines a little bit, add some more details. But then this way, um, you can still see them and they're etched in. All right, so you're just gonna take your sponge for every paint color, dab it in the paint, dab it off, and then dab it on your project. Once you've painted everything, you can go ahead, lay everything back out, and then start gluing together. All right. When you are done, your pieces will slide in to your gnome, like so. And here's his letter, and he'll hold it. Oh my gosh, I just love them. Let me find her. Oops. I may come back and do a little bit more detail on the hat. Um, but that looks awesome. And then this is the love letters that's going to sit between them. Thanks for joining us this month for Deck It Out DIY with our Gnome of the Month.